Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from TheWorkoutCorner.com and it's a great day for working out. Welcome to another episode of Mind Food Monday where I answer your questions directly from me to you. I pick the top three questions from the comment box below. Winner of the best question gets free access to my workout results blueprint course which is advanced training so you get a free copy of that and uh, let's jump into the first question here. Up first, Brian653790 says, Hey Ryan, I have a question. Should I get abs first, then bulk up, or bulk up, then shred down into a lean body? And this is a good question, a popular question. We see this all the time, you know, on the internet. What do I do first? And, and I'm just going to say, it. obviously, it's going to depend on where you are now and your current progress. Um, I would suggest... Uh, picking whatever strategy you're closer to already achieving you know so if you're already kinda in shape and you're just looking to slim down you know abs are gonna come from losing body fat not doing crunches you gotta lose body fat so if you're close to abs you know, go for those if you're if you're a smaller guy or a skinnier guy and you'll notice uh, putting on mass faster you know, go for that go for that first then the reason being that whatever you're closer to getting and you and you start working towards and you see the results it's going to make you, you know, kind of re-up your motivation and help you stay with the longer goal, which is working out and improving, um, improving yourself continually. So it's important that you, you strategically pick these kind of quicker wins, if you will, to help you stay in the game. Up next we have Eduardos123, and he says, Hey Ryan, I have this problem. I'm 15 years old and I have gyno. It's really embarrassing. I was wondering if you could help give me some advice or talk about it. Anything would be helpful. Sure, you know, at your age, it's very common with hormones flowing around for that to, to have that. So, um, oftentimes when you go through puberty, it will go away. But even if it doesn't, the reality of the matter is, or the bigger message is, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think about you um, or how you look or anything silly like that. It's, it's really what matters is what you think and believe about yourself. And it's very important um, that you are working out that aspect of your life daily too in, in the sense that you have to be continually positive to yourself and telling yourself good things uh, just like you have to continually go to the gym and work out to build big muscles and if you don't do that then you let what other people think about you and say about you impact you when it shouldn't matter at all so make sure you're doing your mental training and, and mental workouts um, and telling yourself you know um, positive things to keep your attitude up. All right, hope that helps. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have L Muffin twenty six one two, and he wants to know. Let's see, you looks like you're working out three times a week, and sometimes you have to go to work later in the evening, and it's a heavy physical job. So could you be ruining your results by putting more strain on the muscles during the recovery period? Should you switch to a different day so that your body has different recovery time? Hey, great question, and, and it's cool that you're thinking about how do you incorporate your work life with your workout life. So, um, you know, it kind of is going to depend on how you feel, like also your age and how well you're recovering, um, and and how heavy, you know, physically heavy the job is that you're doing. So, I would keep keep doing what you're doing now, which is working out and working later in the day. But if you find yourself really tired and really drained, and that could be a sign that you need to switch to your off days to do your your heavy lifting workouts. Uh, make sure you're getting tons of water and lots of food on those workout days because that's how your body, you know, that's what your body's using to recover. All right, that'll do it for another episode of Mind Food Monday. Make sure to put your questions in the comment box below. We'll get to those next week. L Muffin 2612, you are the winner, my man, this week for access to the Workout Results Blueprint course. So send me your email address. I'll get you squared away with that. Everybody else, make sure you hit the hit. hit bleh, bleh. Woof, it's a Monday afternoon. I'm ready to go to the gym. So make sure you hit the gym hard this week, and I will see you all next week. Take care.